His method is really central to the mission of the school, that it fundamentally allows you to have an integrated academic life between your research and teaching. In many schools, people see them in silos. Teaching is teaching, and then you go back and do your research. Cases act as a bridge between your teaching and research and create positive feedback loops between the two. When we recruit young faculty, they typically come from other schools which do not use case method as much. And they come in and they're intrigued by it, but they also wonder whether this is actually just an additional task that they have to do, and therefore will take away their time from doing research. And the way I explain to them is that actually this is a way of doing research. While you're teaching, you're thinking about your research, and while you're doing research, you're thinking about your teaching, and it increases the total productivity of a scholar as a result of it. You are able to uh, understand and uncover new phenomena that are just emerging, figure out the challenges that practitioners are dealing with in real time. And through that process, you are educating yourself about what is going on in the world, and in return, use that knowledge to teach the cases in a way that impacts practice and enriches it. You know, the most effective cases I have written are actually written as a collection of cases that are interconnected. So the journey in the emerging markets area that I experienced started with a case I wrote on the House of Tata, which was kind of a contrarian kind of thinking case because the Tata group was doing things that actually were contrary to what a lot of conventional management practice was recommending they don't do. I took a, a few business people to India to speak with Mr. Ratan Tata, who was the chairman of the company. And they were all lecturing him on how he should change his management style. And he looked puzzled. He said, you know, what I think I'm doing is actually very sensible given my context. And that piqued my interest in kind of trying to understand actually what's going on. And what I discovered is that doing business in emerging markets is very different from doing business in more mature markets like we have, but also it helped me characterize the institutional differences that actually make doing business very different and the strategic implications that come out of it. That led me to write a collection of cases over a period of about 15 years on the Tata Group in their own evolution. It also then allowed me to go and write a series of cases on the Alibaba Group, which is also doing something very interesting in China. And then I wrote a case on Amazon in India and China. And these particular cases really have been instrumental in a lot of work I have done in building businesses in emerging markets, which culminated in a course that I created in the MBA program a course I created in an executive education program and really enriched my own thinking, but I think fundamentally changed the perception of doing business in emerging markets for many students and scholars. Faculty like me are like honeybees who are going in search of honey, and the honey is actually produced by the flowers, and in this case, the companies and leaders that are actually experimenting with different ideas. And we are fortunate enough to be welcomed by those leaders, and we go and learn from them document those ideas and cases, bring them back. We obviously add some intellectual frameworks around them, but the real honey is produced by the leaders who are experimenting with new ideas. When you write cases, uh, they're used in hundreds of schools around the world. And so and each of those classes has uh, hundreds of students. And so when you write a case, your uh, work is being read and uh, it's impacting literally hundreds of thousands of people every day in, around the world. And so that's very, very satisfying.